Welcome back. We are on the show with Nancy Kimening, but you're also joined right now by Immaculate Laiboni. Immaculate uh, works with a foundation that's called Balloon Ventures, and I can read it on her t-shirt, so that's really easy work. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So, what is Balloon Ventures? Balloon Ventures is a foundation that um, it is UK sponsored, and it is an one of the branches of International Citizen Service. Um, it is in Kenya. It was started in Africa, it was started in Kenya. Now it's moved to Uganda, Ghana and Philippines. Wow. Yes. Um, what we basically do is we train local, young local entrepreneurs improve on their business skills. And after eight weeks, they are able to pitch for a loan and be able to improve on their businesses. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're here because of your connection with Nancy. Yes. Nancy, how did you learn about Balloon Ventures? Uh, balloon Ventures, I learned uh, from, I, I met, uh, there was a group which was earlier, and I met them on the streets, they were doing their survey, and they asked, had asked me questions. Mm -hmm. Um, later on, I asked them, you know, what they do and where the uh, where I can get more information. So s they sent me to uh, the Youth Development Initiative uh, office. Wareng, yes, mm -hmm. the Wareng Youth Initiative um, offices uh, here in Eldoret, and um, they took my details. And when you say streets. Which streets are this? <laughs> <laughs> they were in town and they were taking service. Was they it in Akuru? Was it in Eldoret? It was here in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. They were actually in Zion Mall. Mm. They were taking service about the, the entrepreneur they were training. Mm -hmm. And they were taking, they were asking me questions about, you know, the business, if I could, you know, um, be able to to buy because that the person was uh, uh, printing and selling t-shirts so mm. yeah they were asking me if I could buy a t-shirt oh. so after the question I asked them what do they really do and where can I find them mm -hmm. yeah immaculate yes. how long has this been around you're Kenyan yes I am. you're not from the UK yes all right uh -huh. so how long has has uh, balloon ventures been operating in Kenya um, balloon ventures started in Kenya in around 2011 it started in Nakuru mm -hmm. then spread to Molo Njoro Molo now Eldoret it's been in Eldoret for like it has had I think four or five programs in Eldoret now and it's in Kericho as well um, it runs for every program runs for three months mm -hmm. whereby volunteers from Kenya are if if a young person is interested to volunteer with Balloon Ventures, they are assessed, and if they qualify, uh, they come for the training before they get to to interact with the entrepreneurs and all that, mm -hmm. and then they are partnered with the UK volunteers, mm -hmm. whereby the UK volunteers are trained in the UK and all that, and then come to Kenya, we get the common training and all that, and then start the business mm -hmm. here. She had to go through a different route to know that you you guys exist. Mm -hmm. But if there's somebody who's listening to the show today, mm -hmm. and they're like, um, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm mm -hmm. a rising entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I would like to have uh, Balloon Ventures be a part of my team mm -hmm. and have my back. Mm -hmm. But how does the ordinary Kenyan youth access Balloon Ventures? Um, and not necessarily an entrepreneur with an existing business, mm -hmm. even those local entrepreneurs with startup ideas, mm -hmm. we help them uh, grow the ideas to actual businesses. So what they do is they can contact us, they can just Google Balloon Ventures and apply as an entrepreneur. Um, they will find contacts there. Um, we also have we also have points whereby our the the word is really spread like the Warren Initiative, Youth Initiative, and other other organizations. Mm. Um, 
so if the entrepreneur has an idea or has a business and really wants to know how to keep the records of the business to manage the businesses and all that mm. they can contact us and we do an assessment if they qualify they are able to join us for the for the two months mm. for the two months that will be with them and then in the end mm. if the entrepreneur is if they pitch something really good mm -hmm. um, they get a loan uh, that we don't charge any interest mm -hmm. so we partnered with some circles in every local area that we work with um, and then they get to pay it back later on All right. yeah I'm gonna let you go but before I do mm -hmm. um, at which uh, level mm -hmm. are you with right now mm -hmm. with Nancy um, is she within the three month time framework yes she is actually it's our third week so it's fairly new yeah it's our third week with her mm -hmm. yes and it's really doing well mm -hmm. yes what are you advising her because i know she has a book already mm -hmm. and she's on her second book actually all right ah. um so what um we've basically done with nancy mm -hmm. Um, we want to improve the existing book so that it can have like a much uh, it can reach more people um, clearly the book is can reach more people but now we want to make it um, well, how can I call it more enticing to read mm -hmm. and I like have more pictures in the book whereby people can not only learn by reading but also by seeing the process of maybe the steps of um, the first aid and all that. Mm -hmm. But her book is awesome. All right. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Let's talk about this second book mm -hmm. that is not yet out. Mm -hmm. What's this second book about? The second book, uh, it's about cerebral palsy because I also suffer from cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, cerebral palsy and what is cerebral palsy, you know, the discrimination associated with it. So you're basically taking your life experiences mm -hmm. and sh sharing your life experiences. Yeah. I know the one on epilepsy is how to deal with a person that's living with epilepsy. Yeah. Are you doing the same with this second book? Yes, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but this, it's not my life experiences in the book. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's, 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 uh, it's an, edu an educational tool, actually. Yes on how to handle an epileptic person. The other one is how to handle, you know, um, a person with cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. you know, and how, you know, because of cerebral palsy, there are different types. There's a minor cerebral palsy, and there is the one which is severe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll cover both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Is it minor or severe? Mine is minor, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I can do many things. I can talk, I can walk, but sometimes I get tired. Um, I, uh, but my hand has a problem, but I can use. Mine is minor. Mm -hmm. There are people who cannot talk. They, can, they cannot, uh, you know, walk. Yeah, th those are um, uh, severe cerebral palsy. Nancy, let's talk about relationships and how that has been for you. Do you have friends? Do you have girlfriends? Do you have girlfriends that you do things with? Yes, I have. I think I treasure the <laughs> The few I have, I've learned to 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 treasure the friends. The few I have, I I say I normally say I I'd rather have you know five friends than a uh, hundred. Um, that hundred and they don't even and are not always there for me. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have five who we can laugh, who we can encourage each other we can you know talk about you know development you know um, you know fun you know everything mm -hmm. without them looking at me like an epileptic person or somebody who is disabled have you have you have you gone through that have you had like meet people who could be potential friends but look 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 at you like 
like, yeah. like you're different, like you're weird. Yeah, I, I, I had uh, friends who, uh, you know, um, they would sound like they're happy, but in they would also undermine. They would, uh, you know, tell me, oh, you've written a book, but how, how can you know about, about, you know, about epilepsy and you are epileptic, you have a brain problem, you know. You, sh you shouldn't be in a position to understand about this condition to write about it. Yes, they would say that. So uh, when somebody tells me because I have been told and when that person told me I, I did not argue with that person, I distanced myself from that person because I'm the one getting hurt. That is hurtful yes. for somebody to be able to say it because there is nothing wrong with you as a person. Mm -hmm. You are obviously intelligent enough to be able to work with a, a wide variety of people. And I think this is what Kobe saw yeah. when she said she wanted to work with you. Yeah. But like I said, it's, it's part of the ignorance that mm -hmm. is around us in the world. Mm -hmm. Do you debt? Yes, I do. Because people also think that if you have the epilepsy, epileptic condition you are not able to date. Have you had people say that? Yes, I have and it's not true. You can actually be in a relationship, a healthy relationship mm -hmm. and, and enjoy the relationship. I, I think when you get somebody who understands your condition and, and accepts you the way you are, then you're good to go. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's just the misconception of people that, you know, uh, and people don't want to accept the condition. That's why they'll put a lot of, a lot of myths mm -hmm. uh, on the condition. I, w I want you to look at that camera mm -hmm. because that is the one on you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to speak to, to somebody mm -hmm. who has the epileptic condition, mm -hmm. to a parent or parents who have children with that condition and who are thinking, mm -hmm. like you said, that they should hide their mm -hmm. children, that they should lock them up, mm -hmm. that they should make them stay away from society mm -hmm. because they are not good enough. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at that camera and I want you to speak to, into it like somebody who's living it and somebody mm -hmm. who's intelligent and somebody who's able to do something with her life mm -hmm. and talk to those parents mm -hmm. and talk to them because mm -hmm. I need you to encourage somebody today. Mm -hmm. I want to... I want to encourage every guardian, every parent, that um, epilepsy is a medical condition. And um, it's, not, no, it's not good that you discriminate your child or the child that is under you, under your care. You love them just like any other children accept that you have a child with epilepsy and, and thank God, you know, in everything and everything you say, thank God for whatever God has given you. So thank God that you have been given a child who is epileptic. Um, you know, accept the condition as much as possible, you know, go to, to, uh, to groups uh, in hospitals, they have groups which, you know, they encourage each other so that you can see and say, oh, my child is even better. Uh, yeah. So uh, as much as possible, take the child to school. Education is very important. Um, and also, you know, uh, give them normal duties. You know, uh, uh, when they are okay, give them normal duties. Um, give them... Uh, Give them freedom, let them travel even outside the country if they can. You know, it's not, it's, there's no limit. The sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. um, I can also encourage them that they should, um, if you have a child with epilepsy, you should go register with the National Council for Persons with Disabilities, which is a government. Um, um, or it is uh, one of the government uh, offices for persons with disabilities. It is in every county, mm, and uh, you will be given a card. And that card, um, 
you will uh, be able to get um, um, business without you know paying tax exemption um, if you are working uh, in a government uh, you, you will not be taxed salary if you are getting 50 you will get 50 if you have a car um, definitely somebody will be driving you so you will be given a sticker a parking sticker so that you not pay the parking fee mm. Mm. Yeah. also the, the land rates um, if you have a land every year the, the land rates you not be paying the land rates so there are a lot of benefits people should come out and you know come and register those children uh, yeah so that uh, right. yeah they also mm. educational assistance Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to end by yeah. asking you one fa final question because mm -hmm. we've, we've in line with, with, with dating, people say if you have uh, epileptic, you cannot have children. Mm -hmm. Please correct it very fast. We only have a minute. Mm -hmm. I can only say this. If somebody is epileptic, they will definitely be given, you know, guidelines um, on how to 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 reduce the medication mm -hmm. yes you will you will always consult the doctor but you can have children yes you will definitely have children so we've rubbished that yes okay <laughs> i want to thank you so much we were with uh, nancy a true inspiration on the program not just a woman and we want to thank you so much for finding the time to join us thank you so much too, you have been you have been you have been absolutely awesome yeah until next week, it's goodbye. My name is Rose Okinda, and uh, thank you for watching.